episode 6. Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We hope you're having a good day so far. Um, today, in this episode, we are studying the prayers that Paul prayed over uh, his fellow believers, over the people whom he ministered to. And, uh, and there's something that we can learn from this. We can pray specifically these kinds of prayers over our own lives. Um, the things that are addressed here, the things that are petitioned here can be uh, something that we address to God and we petition, we ask God ourselves. Um, so uh, we are looking at Philippians chapter 1 and uh, a couple of verses, uh, three verses from 9 to 11. Um, verse 9, And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Now let's look at that. So Paul is praying uh, uh, over the believers in Philippi and he's saying, I pray that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Right? So if you, if you notice in, in earlier verse, he thanking God um, about, about when he remembers them upon every remembrance, he's thanking God. And here he's praying that their love will increase will be on the increase. Their love for God, their love for people, their love for the things of God will increase. And with that increase also that they will abound in knowledge and that they will abound in discernment. And uh, this is something that he prays, you know, knowledge of the word of God, knowledge of the person of Christ. And uh, here he's talking about experiential knowledge, not just information. So that they would increase in knowledge and all discernment, that they would know to choose the right thing, that they would know what is right and that they would know what is not right. So that they would increase and abound in discernment. Verse 10, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. So with the discernment and with the increase in knowledge, he's praying this and saying that they may be able to approve those things that are excellent, which means um, make a choice, receive that into their own lives and uh, things that are excellent, um, things that are noteworthy, characteristics and virtues, that they, it will be part of their lives. They will open up and receive that in their own lives. And he also prays that they may be sincere, that they may be without offense, that they may be sincere, that there will be no hypocrisy, that they will be without offense, that they will not hold on to any offense which will make their lives bitter and that they will, they will not be hard-hearted but really tender-hearted towards God and towards people. And lastly, he prays, being filled with the fruits of righteousness. That they will be filled with the outcome uh, of uh, the fruits of righteousness. Outcome of the works of righteousness. And the word again, being filled means be completely filled. There's no space. There's completely filled. So he's saying, let your life be filled with the works of righteousness or let your life show these works of righteousness. Right? Let it be part of your life. So these things, you know, we can pray it over our own lives. You know, we can address it and we say that, I pray that my love for God, my love for people will abound more and more. That my knowledge in the Word of God, that my knowledge in the person of Christ, that my knowledge of the spiritual things, that would, it will increase more and more. That I would increase more and more in discernment. Now you can go ahead and pray that. And you can pray this over your children, over your spouse, over your family members as well. So let's take some time to pray right now. Father, we thank you for these deep truths, O oh God, that we can pray for. Master, we know that even as these are in line with your Word, we can pray and expect to see these things being made manifest in our lives. And Lord, we choose to do that today. May we experience it. May we walk in it, in the reality of it today and in the days ahead. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.